Have you ever had a day filled with so many distractions that you go one direction and you get pulled to a different direction that you get pulled to another direction and you go, ah, that'd be me today. I actually finally stopped the press and said, you know, um, I thought for sure I had missed an appointment very first thing in the morning. It got canceled before I ever woke up. Not cool. You see, I value my time and I value other people's time just as much. So when somebody cancels us something, and it's less than 24 hours in advance, that really, it chaps my hide. I mean, the pay or not to pay is besides the point. I mean, in fact, this particular person got me so much that I'm just like, okay, I'll take care of this. Not a problem. And I have. It's done. It's over. But in the process, it made me start to process and really think, okay, so what else? So what else is going on that's kind of, you know, when you have so many things, so many cogs going in a business, sometimes you have to take a step back and really review things. And that's what I ended up doing. And I ended up calling someone out, another coach out on the carpet and saying, whoa, stop the press too much going on. Let's take a look at this. By the time it was said and done, I realized just how much overwhelm with all of these different things was going on for me. And I had to say, stop right now. I'm done. I'm toast. Have you ever had a time when you're just looking at everything going, whoa, just a second. This can be personal. This can also be business. It, it's just two sides of the same coin, really and truly. Sometimes you just have to say, stop. I need to breathe. I need to think things through. I need to process and come back to this. And that's exactly what happened today. I had to stop the press, but because I stopped the press, I caught a few things. And it ended up saving me a lot. It saved me so much that I can actually put it in my piggy bank for, yes, I did it, you know. So um, one thing was for this particular, uh, it, it's an online something like a newspaper or something for CEOs and I just was not seeing it and I'm like, mm-hmm, looks like a little bit of a, <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, um, I canceled it. I'm like, uh-uh. I never received anything for it. So if I don't receive something for that, for if there's not even exchange, then what's the point? This is the whole reason why I've actually taken a look at some things today through this whole process. And remember, I did a 21 day challenge for uh, gaining income. Granted, it wasn't what I was after, but still. And it came to me, oh my goodness. So guess what I'm doing? I'm doing a 21 day challenge. I'm creating, I'm creating it from stem to stern. I'm doing an introductory three day over in what it is out. Done, end of story. If you're interested, then we have a basic and we have a one-on-one -on -one setup. Boom, done. And putting it together into a booklet format where it's available digitally. Download digitally, really experience things, really get things down. Can it be done in paperback? I suppose it could. But right now, I just want to get it out digitally. So if you're interested in the 21 day challenge, profitable business challenge, I want you to put it in the chat that you're interested and I want to reach out to you and see about getting 21 day prop 21 days to a profitable business challenge. 
Now this is different from the 90 day challenge, completely different because the 90 day challenge is going to be way, way, way more intense. Okay. I, I just started seeing this today. Okay. Now you might be saying, but Scarlo, how do you have any authority over this? I know I was looking at myself going, how do I have any authority over this until I shared my story. And when I was done sharing my story, I was labeled the most beautiful label and I'll take it. I'm the hope dealer. H O P E D E A L E R. That's what I am. I deal out hope. I'll help you to find that hope and I help you to bring it to peace, faith, joy, restoration, all of it. Starts with a hope dealer. And the more I embrace it, the more it's exciting. So it also incorporates the ability equation because that's all a part of it is finding your strengths and making them work for you. Now, can I work with guys? Yes, but my priori my priority is to women, especially women who have been plunged into a system and told what to do and put out there. Basically what I'm kind of describing without describing it is called human trafficking. And that's what I'm prioritizing because I understand how that goes. Cause I was there and it is hard. It is difficult to break those chains and to make a difference. But boy, does it feel good when you do it. Oh yeah. I have been there, done this. And now I am so excited to be able to share it with other women and help them grow in strong strength with themselves. So that is my story for the day. It's been quite an adventure really. So, um, I didn't get, do my reading like I like to do. Instead, I woke up a little bit off and was a little bit upset and it just led me to start coming out all of the stuff. And then I realized that my poor doggy has fleas. So I've got to call the vet and say help because she's got medication that will get rid of all of it and get started on something. So that's for another setup. But basically my business is that today, as soon as I thought I was done with the recycling, I had a surprise during all of my coaching sessions, and I had a wonderful interaction with my financial coach, Shoshana. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I cannot recommend enough for abundance and confidence membership, as well as the show me the money membership. Oh yeah. And if you're a coach, definitely recommend it highly because it can be game changer for you. Anyhow, while I was working with her though, I did not know that I had, I, I have an agreement with people in the neighborhood. They can drop off their stuff anytime. And we were talking about finances and financial goals and so on. I did not, and, and manifesting, and I really sincerely, I was telling my uncle, oh yeah, I want to go to Grandma. I want to get everything taken care of, you know, drop off stuff. I want to put some money in the bank, da, da, da. He says, well, what about the black bag? And I'm like, the black bag, it, I said, there might be a black bag with two liters, but huh? Because I, I swore I'd cleaned it out. I went out there only a matter of minutes later and I saw the black bag he was referring to. I knew who it was as soon as I saw inside. I'm like, oh wow, I'm totally blessed. Bless my socks off. It's now put away. It's now taken care of because tomorrow starts a brand new week, a brand new income, a brand new setting. But this was all completely cleared out and I took care of all the basics for right now. Now I do have to zero out the account, which is what I do every, I try to do it every month, but it's really difficult because we're talking 20 plus bags a week. So it's very difficult. And I, and I tell them we're talking 80 plus bags. So. Anyhow, got to clear all of that out and that's for this weekend to clear it all out.
because I've got all of these new ones coming through and talk about manifestations. We were talking about manifesting and I just was like, it'll be there. You know, I believe that it'll be there. And sure enough, boom, was I expecting it? No, but was it there? Oh yes. And filled with gratitude at the same time. So is manifestation real? You betcha. It's even biblical. But at the same time, I'm trying to share that I'm going to do a 21 day to profitable business challenge and 90 day to profitable business. And it's just gradually progressing. Right now I'm writing it into book format and this is the big precursor. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is what's coming up. Anyhow, thank you so much. Blessings to you all. And until next time.